Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I'm going to show you how to easily install Windows 10 on your Raspberry Pi 4 or your Raspberry Pi 3. Now, I do want to mention that this is very bleeding edge for both of these boards, especially the Raspberry Pi 4. But if you're going to do this, I would recommend the Raspberry Pi 3 or 3B Plus because they do have the USB ports working. And on the Raspberry Pi 4, right now, as I'm making this video, the USB and Wi-Fi aren't working, so you will have to transfer data and power through the USB Type-C port on the Pi 4. And in order to do this, you'll need some type of OTG adapter with power or a USB Type-C OTG adapter and power from the GPIO. That's what I ended up doing at first, and I'll show you my little setup real quick. So this was my initial setup. It's a cheap USB 4 port hub that I got on Amazon, really easy to obtain. And on this, I added a micro USB OTG adapter. And then on the end of that, I added a USB type C adapter. So it's pretty funky how this whole thing needs to be set up on the Pi 4. And that's really why I recommend using the Pi 3. Now this actually worked really well. And I just powered the Raspberry Pi 4 through the GPIO pins. I had a little 2.5 amp power supply laying around. So I could plug it right into the GPIO on the Raspberry Pi 4. Like I said, it worked well, but there are other ways around this. But this is what a lot of people have been doing with the Raspberry Pi running Windows 10. Right here, this is a crude little mock-up. We have a USB hub. This is an OTG hub. It'll send power in from the wall through this little port here through the other micro USB. In turn, that's going to be plugged into a micro USB type C and plugged into the Pi. Keep in mind, our USB ports do not work on the Pi 4 with Windows as making this video. So we're going to be running data. We can plug in our keyboard ethernet wi-fi right here and data and power are going to be running through here into the pi to power it up it's definitely a bit of a mess but this is bleeding edge we're running windows 10 on arm on our raspberry pi 4 and this is what we got to deal with right now as of making this video but i started thinking about it and i actually have the next dock which is an awesome little dock this is not a laptop basically this is a hub for other devices. You can plug in HDMI, USB Type-C, you can use your phone on it or whatever. It does have a screen built in, USB 3.0, keyboard, and trackpad. And yes, after I tested it, this works with the Raspberry Pi 4 as an OTG hub. So I have a screen, trackpad, keyboard, and extra USB from just plugging in the HDMI and the USB Type-C to the Raspberry Pi 4. I do have a full review coming up on the next dock soon, so keep an eye on the channel. But if you do want to easily install Windows 10 on an SD card for your Raspberry Pi 3, 3B+, or your Raspberry Pi 4, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, if you're ready to get Windows 10 installed on your Raspberry Pi 3, 3B+, or your Raspberry Pi 4, let's go ahead and get started. Now, first things first, I've already inserted my SD card into my PC. It's just a clean SD card. I'm using a cheaper USB 3.0 USB card reader and an inexpensive 32GB silicon power micro SD card that I purchased on Amazon. So we're going to need to download a few things. All links will be in the description. First thing we need to do is head over to worproject.ml. There's lots of information here. All these acknowledgements, this would not be possible without any of these developers or testers right here. So definitely read through everything. Here's the requirements and the features. So we're going to head up to downloads and we need to download two things. The first thing we need to download is the Windows on ARM image. I'm going to download the latest build here. These numbers may be different in the future and I'm going to grab the Google Drive link. In order to download this correctly, you will need to be signed in. I'm going to download anyway, and I think it's around four and a half gigs, so it may take a little while. While that's downloading, we're going to download the latest pre-release version. Now in the future, the stable version may support the Raspberry Pi 4, but right now as of making this video, we need the pre-release. 2.0 or higher should support the Raspberry Pi 4. I'm going to go with this one right here. Once I have this and my Windows 10 ARM image downloaded, I'm going to place them on my desktop for easy access. All right, so now I have the Windows on Raspberry Pi application downloaded here, and I have the Windows 10 ARM image. First thing we want to do is start the extraction of the ARM image. I'm using WinRAR, or you can use 7-Zip. Just going to extract it to my desktop. I'm also going to extract the Windows on Raspberry Pi software. Give this some time to finish up. All right, so now I have them both extracted. We have the Windows on Raspberry Pi software and the image. We're gonna go into the WOR folder and we'll find the WOR application or EXE. We're gonna double click 
it's going to launch the application for us. All right, so these next steps are pretty important to get this installed on the correct Raspberry Pi model. Go ahead and read through everything. I'm going to click Next. From the drop down, I'm going to choose my micro SD card. Make sure you don't choose an extra drive that you have attached to your PC. This is my 32 gigabyte micro SD card. And from here, I want to install in a Raspberry Pi 4. So I'm going to choose this one here. But if you're using a 3, go ahead and choose this. It works with the B or the B. So for the Raspberry Pi 4, we'll click Next. Now we need to select our ARM image that we downloaded. So on my desktop, in that folder we extracted, and it's 6.3 gigabytes, as you can see here. Next, select the drivers. Now from here, I'm just gonna use the latest packages available on the server. You need to be online for this to work. We're gonna accept the terms, make sure we have this checked, and choose next. Again, for the firmware, we're gonna use the latest firmware available on the server. And if you get a pop-up like this, make sure the RPI4 is chosen. It should already be chosen because we selected it when we did select device, but just make sure. Choose Next. From here, I'm not going to change anything. We're still limited to one gigabyte on the Pi 4 right now, unfortunately, and hopefully this will be fixed in the future, and I'm sure it will. But for now, we're going to leave this all alone. Choose Next. Make sure you have the correct target device, which is my micro SD card. My drivers from the server, from the server, device type is Raspberry Pi 4, and the operating system. Now this part's going to take a little while, so we'll click Install, and we're going to let it finish up. It's going to flash that image to the SD card for us so we can boot it up on our Raspberry Pi 3, 3B+, or a Raspberry Pi 4. But in this case, we're installing to a Raspberry Pi 4. Okay, so the installation's completed. It took me about 12 minutes to get this installed. Now it's time to move over to our Raspberry Pi. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the Raspberry Pi 4's USB ports don't work, so you need a splitter to run everything from the USB Type-C on the side. But if you're on a Raspberry Pi 3 or a 3B+, just plug it in normally. If you're on the 4, you'll need that splitter. I'm going to be using the next dock like you saw at the beginning of the video, and basically this is acting as my hub, my screen, my keyboard, and trackpad. All right, so here it is. I've inserted my SD card into my Raspberry Pi, and I've plugged in my dock, which just happens to be the next dock. It just makes things so much easier with this thing. But like I showed you at the beginning, if you don't have something like this, you can use an OTG adapter with power in. Now this is real Windows 10 on ARM running on the Raspberry Pi, so you will have to set it up like you just did a fresh install of Windows 10 on your x86 PC. So go ahead and finish this up. And once you're finished with the setup, you now have Windows 10 on ARM running on your Raspberry Pi 4. I will admit, running it on a Raspberry Pi 3 or 3B Plus is much easier because we don't have to deal with any kind of OTG adapters. The USB ports on those just work. Hopefully, in the near future, the devs do get the USB ports on the Raspberry Pi 4 working when you're running Windows 10 on ARM because it's just going to make everything so much easier. We don't have to deal with any OTG adapters or anything like that. And before I get out of here, I just wanted to give you a quick look. We have that Broadcom 2711 A72 cores. We have four of them here at 1.5 gigahertz. We're limited to one gigabyte of RAM right now with Windows 10 on the Raspberry Pi 4. And if you're using an SD card to do this, you will notice it max out a lot. Over here, under our system settings, you can see we have that Broadcom CPU, so we are on the Raspberry Pi 4. This is true Windows 10 on ARM running on the Raspberry Pi 4, and I really think this could be usable in the future on the Pi 4. If they can get those USB ports and Wi-Fi working, we can overclock to 2.1 GHz and 700 MHz on the GPU. Then we'll add an SSD instead of, let's say, an SD card, and I think you could use this as a daily computer, even with this low-powered single-board computer. But right now, it's bleeding edge, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, but it is pretty easy to install. So that's pretty much it for this video. I really appreciate you watching. It's definitely not for everybody, even running it on the Raspberry Pi 3 or 3B+, but it's still really awesome to see Windows 10 running on a Raspberry Pi 4. This is Windows 10 on ARM. This is not a skinned version of Linux whatsoever. We're running Windows 10 on our Pi. All links for everything mentioned in this video will be in the description. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.